so I would like to discuss on conformal mapping. So let C be a smooth arc uh, with the parametric representation z equal to zt where t parameter t lies between a and b. So this is a smooth arc and we know that by smooth we mean z prime of t exists uh, in the open interval a to b and your z prime of t is never equal to zero. Okay. And we also know that the number of smooth arcs join n to n is called a contour. Okay. So now let uh, w equal to fz be defined at all points z on c. Okay. And uh, so the parametric form of w will be wt equal to f of zt. All right. And uh, this is the c is the smooth arc c which passes through z0. Yeah. And the image, image of this C under this transformation W equal to ZT, uh, that is say gamma, and that passes through say W naught. So W naught is nothing but F of Z naught. All right. And suppose that your FZ is now, uh, so FZ is analytic at Z naught, and F prime of Z naught is also not equal to zero. And F prime of Z naught is not equal to zero means that your f prime of z of t naught is not equal to zero so uh, we have c passes through z naught the image gamma passes through w naught okay and image is under this map okay and uh, so by the chain rule applying uh, to this w t equal to f of z t we have that w prime of t naught the derivative of this with respect to t and evaluated at t naught is nothing but f prime of z of t naught and z prime of t naught hmm. and because c is smooth so z prime of t naught is not zero and also we by assumption we have that your f prime of z of t naught is this is also not equal to zero okay so thus your argument i can talk about the arguments of this and argument is nothing but sum of these two arguments argument of this plus argument of that all right so now uh, what is argument of z prime of t naught? z prime of t naught is nothing but the angle of inclination of the tangent at z naught, tangent at z naught, tangent to the curve c at z naught. So that this is the angle of inclination. Let us denote it by theta naught. So that is nothing but argument of z prime of t naught. Similarly, what is the argument of uh, w prime of t naught? The image means at w naught so that is nothing but some say phi naught so this is say phi naught okay so phi naught is argument of w prime of t naught so therefore from from this relation so from this relation we so see that argument of f prime of z of t naught argument of f prime of z of t naught is argument of w prime of t naught minus argument of z prime of t naught so this is nothing but phi naught and minus theta so what is this this is the image angle of inclination this is the original angle of inclination so therefore this is nothing but angle of rotation so this is angle of rotation of the tangents okay so now uh, now if there are two curves passing through the same point c1 curve and c2 curve all right so therefore there will be angle of inclination here there will be angle of inclination all right so this is say this is say uh, c1 this is say c1 and this is a c2 okay so this passes through say z0 and what about the image the image may be um, may be like this so this is and this one okay so this is your angle of inclination this is this is tangent, so there are some angle of inclination, etc. Okay, so now for this curve, so you we already have that your say say the, for the first curve we have say uh, for for the c1 and gamma 1, so this is say gamma 1, this is gamma 2. For c1 and gamma 1, we already have that some phi 1 will be equal to the angle of rotation. Angle of rotation is psi. So angle of rotation plus your theta 1 and uh, other curve is so say 
phi 2 equal to some psi plus theta 2. Remember that this psi is same because we know that uh, that was the uh, angle of rotation of the angle of inclination. So it is uh, your psi was nothing but for the C1 curve, this is for C1 curve, your psi is what? Phi 1 minus theta 1. And for C2 curve, this is the same psi. The psi will be same. Phi 2 minus theta 2. Okay. So if we take the original one theta 2 and the final one in the image curve phi 2, then and that is the difference. Okay. So psi is phi 2 minus theta 2 and here phi 1 minus theta 2. So this, th these are th these two are same. So from here, so therefore you can see that therefore from here your phi 2 minus theta 2 equal to your phi 1 minus theta 1 and that implies you will see that this is phi 2 minus phi 1 is equal to theta 2 minus theta 1. So therefore if there are two cars passing to the same point z naught, then their in difference of the angle of angle of inclinations is theta two minus theta one, theta two minus theta one. This is the angle of inclination of the C one and C two. This is the difference. And here, what is the difference of the image curves theta and gamma two and gamma one? So that is phi two minus phi one. So this is the angle of differences of the uh, those uh, angle of inclinations. All right. So this is the difference. So you see that this difference is same. That means phi 2 minus phi 1 is equal to theta 2 minus theta 1. So this angle, angle is preserved both in magnitude and direction. Okay. So both magnitude and magnitude and sense or you can say the direction. Direction. Okay, so this is difference phi 2 minus phi 1 is equal to theta 2 minus theta 1. See, this is the original difference and this is the image difference. Okay, and both the magnitude and the directions are same. Alright, so this type of this angle preserving property is called a conformal mapping. A conformal mapping. Okay, conformal mapping. Okay, so we see that to be a conformal at a point f must be analytic there and f prime of z naught should not be equal to z okay so such a mapping is called a conformal mapping okay so thank you